Hey there, and welcome to another episode here at STW. Join me for the unboxing, walkthrough, and a short review of the SP108E LED Wi-Fi Magic Controller. Let's get started. This is the box and developed by LED Shop. It came with a manual, an ARGB 3-pin JSD connector that you can use to connect to the controller, a Phillips screwdriver, and the SP108E RGB controller. The controller itself, it has the QR code to download the app either on Android or Apple. You may use at least 5 volts up to 24 volts of power supply and that is depending on the LED's requirement you'll be using. In my case, I'll be using a 5 volt ARGB LED. This controller can handle up to 2048 diodes, not strips, but the number of LEDs on the strip or strips. Here, I have already connected a parallel connections of different connectors for ARGB. To know more about the different types of connectors for ARGB LEDs, you may watch my previous video on the description box below. Here, I'll be using a USB power jack with a 5.5 by 2.1 mm power plug and a standard 5 volt 2 amperes phone charger to power on the controller. You can purchase the USB power jack online and I'll be putting the link in the description below. Now, let's power it on. Here, I have plugged in the power jack and the phone charger in the other end on the controller itself. The controller itself will power on as soon as you see the green light on the controller. I'll be plugging in different strips with different ARGB connectors to test. The second strip I'll be plugging in is the one I have created using a 4-pin connector. Since this is the only connector available, I have modified it to attach a 3-pin JSD strips by removing or ignoring the third pin from the voltage wire pin. Don't forget as well to block the third pin. We've ignored by using just a drop of super glue. As you can see, both strips are working. Now let's set it up wirelessly using an Android phone. Go to Google Play or App Store and you may search for LED Shop to install it. In my case, I have already installed the app. So after the installation, open the app, tap the Add Device, It'll ask for which Wi-Fi connection to use. Just make sure that your phone and the controller are connected at the same Wi-Fi connection for it to communicate. Then tap enter. Tap and select on the second generation image. Then tap manual mode. And make sure the light on the controller is blue. If it's on green, just press on the APSTA button just below it until it turns blue. Once done, tap continue below on your phone. Then we need to connect to the controller hotspot using your phone. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and look for the controller's hotspot. In my case, I'll connect to SP108E underscore 3FA30B using the password 12345678. So once connected, tap on continue. Then wait for the app to configure its settings. As soon as it's done, you'll notice as well on your controller that the light will change from blue to green. It means that it's connected. Just click done right after. Next is, the app will start to scan and find the controller. It'll show up in the list in the screen. Just tap it. Then below, it will automatically detect the type of LED you're using. 
In my case, it's uh, GRBWS2811. You may also adjust the pixel per segment and segment depending on the number of LEDs you're going to use. So I'll just leave it on the default settings. Then tap enter. Now it's time to plug in the strips to test the different modes. It can show. The app has three types of modes. It has the native mode, predefined mode, and image mode. So the native mode has eight kinds of single color modes, such as meteor, breathing, wave, catch up, stack, flash, flow, and static. You may also know that the color, brightness, and speed are adjustable. The predefined mode has a total of 180 kinds of multicolor dynamic modes, which you can choose from. You can tap on the heart icon above to tag those you like most as favorite, and you can just slide your fingers around to access them. Color, brightness, and speed are adjustable as well. Lastly, the image mode or the from image to effect function, it can capture the color of image, create distinctive color effect, and synchronize light color with atmosphere of your room. You can use either the predefined image or you can import an image. I have been using the product for a couple of weeks now and so far there are no issues. What I like about the product is it has the from image to effect function and it, re it responds real time when doing changes in its app. What I don't like about the product is um, it doesn't have a remote control. So it means that you can only access this through your phone via the LED shop application. And lastly, it cannot be accessed by any home assistant applications. But Overall, I give it a thumbs up. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next video.